OK, so you want to import picture data into Microsoft Excel. So your first step is to get that picture data on your screen. So it could be from a website or from a PDF, for example. Once you've got it on the screen, use the shortcut key, Windows key Shift S, and then draw a box around the data the picture data that you want to import into Excel. And the next step is to open up Excel. Okay, so this is the Excel workbook I want to import the data into. You go to the Data tab on your ribbon, and in the Get and Transform group, you go to this button from Picture and Picture from Clipboard. Now you'll notice here that there are in fact two options, Picture from File and Picture from Clipboard. We're gonna be using the second option here, but if you already had the image saved in your computer, then you could use the first option in the menu. We're going to use Picture from Clipboard. And what you'll notice is it opens up this task pane on the right of your screen. It's gone through the item on the clipboard and it wants you to review how it's interpreted the data. So we go to the review button first. And what it's gonna do is take you through all the items it thinks you need to review. So you can either accept or change the item in this box. Now, this is the first one where it's actually interpreted the data incorrectly. So all you need to do is amend the data in this little box and then accept. So I'm gonna go through each of these items and make any amendments where they're needed. Now it picked up 24 items that I needed to review and that's on quite a small data set. So I think for something like this, I'd probably be using Power Query. It may be quicker. But anyway, once we're happy with this data, we can click on Insert Data. And then it's warning me again that I'm still responsible for validating the accuracy of the data. And it's inserted the data into Excel. Now I can see I've got an empty row here. And actually this text here should be here. So you can see it needs quite a lot of intervention, not quite as automated as you might hope for, but still quicker than having to type out all of the data from scratch. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.